those are the powers that we want really well those are circumstances all right but what makes machi the only possible suspect your forehead you seem to have forgotten that you're talking to the prosecution the enemy ah right i think i like this side of prosecutor giving better actually i'm not at liberty to discuss the particulars of the case especially not to the defense attorney what did you just say me the first attorney safe that's what i came to tell you he's down at the detention center he wants to request your service he you mean machi machi wants me this is what been waiting for apollo let's get going uh right good luck i'm off to question lami lawyer R right later i hope i'm up to this july 8 detention center visitors room well i just don't get it i refuse i refuse to believe a cute little kid like that could do something so terrible you said that already Ooh. machi everything's going to be okay we're here for you um hi maybe you can tell me about last night oh no this is bad from oh we need translator, please! Huh? Oh, calm down, kid! That was when I realized how tough it must be. A little kid like this. In a country so far from everything he's ever known. Uh, maybe Lamira can help? But then Prosecutor Gavin says she was with him. Good luck! I'm off to question Lamy Royer. Safe. Well, what are we going to do? That's um a good question. I can't think of anything, but we can do. But go with this, and hope for the best at the trial tomorrow. We need translator, please, please. Yes. Safe. Yo, we need translator. <laughs> July, July nine, ten a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Court is now in session for. How do I say that? Machito Bayo, Your Honor, the Pixie of Arpeggio. Right, his trial. Court is in session. The defense is ready, your honor. The prosecution is okay here, judge. Uh, hmm. Very well. Prosecutor Gavin. Ah, uh, my opening statement, ja? No, no, no. Actually, there was something I else wanted to ask you about. Yes? So, you're going to visit someone in the hospital with incurable disease? What do you say to them? Eh? I mean, you won't say get well soon, right? You only be kicking them when they're down. Um, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> actually, I'm going to visit someone who is terminally ill. Right after this trial, the Chief Justice son. The Chief Justice? His son is afflicted with a most terrible disease. He doesn't have long, it seems. So I thought I go pay him a visit. I thought saying something moving might be the order of the day. I don't grow up. Ever just say what's on their mind instead of pretending? She's looking at me with something like disgust. Hey, what are you looking at me like that for? In any case, I'm a bit busy today, so let's wrap up this up quickly. 
Pas di ketergebennya opening statement briefly Dari luck here judge I believe you be going on your hospital visit sooner than you think First to review the victim in this case Roman Litos, age 35 The global manager for Diva Strong Stress Lamiroir The cause of the death brought loss due to being shot by a large caliber revolver This report has all the details The court accept this into, the, into evidence Fortify caliber, that's quite large, isn't it? A direct hit from that could knock a man off his feet. However, the bullet struck him in his shoulder. The damage to the body was slight. That was not immediate. Sadly, his blood loss was such that he could not be safe. Hmm, I suppose the victim's condition could have been much worse considering. Two shots were fired. One shot missed, the other penetrated and passed through the victim's shoulder. Both bullets were found in the wall at the scene. Over, observe the diagram. Safe. This is where the bullets hits. I see. The court accept this evidence. If we're talking about a 45 caliber revolver. We must assume that the killer was adept at the weapons use. Really? Yeah, apparently weapons that size have a powerful kickback. If say the judge tried to fire one, it break every bone in his body. The defense will take more care in choosing examples. As I was saying, the victim was shot backstage in a dressing room. This dressing room has only one entrance, this door. That does to be the, seems to be the case, yes. Safe. However, there were witnesses who heard the gunshots. He's talking about you and Emma, huh? Yet when the witnesses entered the room, it was empty. Safe for the victim's body, of course. But but that's that's impossible. Exactly. This murder was impossible. For all but one person? One person? That is, of course, the defendant, Machi Tobaye. Only this defendant could have committed the crime? But how? It's quite simple, the circumstances of the crime scene make it clear. Very well, I assume you have testimony to back up this claim. Let the witness please take this then. Your name and profession, please. Emma Sky, I'm a detective for the police department. I was on security detail at the concert forum that night. Emma seems tired somehow. Hmm, security at the concert, you say? Some security I was couldn't even stop a murder. Now, don't blame yourself, things like this happen. I made even bigger mistake in my career, you know. That's, that's not good, you know. I'm sure that makes her feel much better. I want to hear about these bigger mistakes. Safe. In any case, because you were on security detail, the crime was quickly discovered. And we were about, we were able to identify the killer. You may give the court your testimony if you want. Describe the circumstances of that day and your discovery of the crime, please. Alright. Murder circumstances. Safe. The night of the murder, I was on security backstage at prosecutor Gavin's request. Only people involved with the concert in some way were allowed backstage. At the beginning of the third set, I heard shots. I went into the room filled with blaring rock music and found the body. 
examined the scene and determined that only the defendant could have done it. Save. Okay, that's it for today's guys. Bye-bye.